Hi. For the past few years I've been using this engine called the Essential Engine. It's a really cool engine if you're a programmer and I wanted to make it a bit more accessible to non-programmers as well. And even for programmers this could be quite handy. So I made this event system which allows you to add in gameplay into your current scene or project. So I'll just show you what this does. So what I have here is a small example world that I ran and includes my events system. So don't pay too much attention to the character, that's the default assets from the engine. So I have a few triggers in my scene and they can tri trigger a number of events, buttons too and items that you can pick up. So for example let's just see what a few of these do. So this draws a bit of text and plays a sound when you enter the trigger and then draw some text when you exit as well. You can keep doing this too. This one draws some different text. It also spawns light, spawns particles and spawns sound as well. This is a button object. If you click it once, you toggle it on, it will draw some objects there. If you toggle it off again, another object, toggle it on, off, on, off and so on. He's picking up an, I an item. You've picked up an item. Teleporting the player back to the where he came from. And there you go. Uh, a moving platform. And then a nice little trigger at the top that spawns a bit of text. And if you click it again, it goes back down. And here are a number of doors. If you stand into the trigger zone, it will open a door, get out, it will close again. Very simple, so you can walk through. Then here you have a door that is locked, it doesn't open. If we click the button, it opens for 5 seconds, and it doesn't open anymore. And here a button that says, oh you don't have the key. Hmm, oh, this looks like a key, not really, but we'll just imagine it is. We'll open this door, it's now opened. And you can, op you can go through. And this one is a door trigger and an event trigger, so it will first tell you, oh, you have to press the button five times to open this door. Okay, so we'll press one, two, three, four, five, and it's open. There we go. So how does this work? So the way the SNF engine works is that it will automatically load in objects that you place into the scene. So what you do is you create custom object classes for those that define what exactly this object does and how it's linked to the code that you write. And you also fill in a bunch of parameters that you also define yourself. So I've made a bunch of pre-made events and triggers for you, which makes it very easy to start off and also create your own events later on if you want to. So for example, this trigger zone here is just a box defined to be a trigger and it's set to trigger multiple times, it's enabled and it can do something when you enter and it can do something when you exit. These uh, parameters here are IDs which is just a uh, ID value assigned to an object in the scene. So for example in this case it's this object and this object. And you can see that there's also a line that connects these things. The red line means that it references those, so those are two objects here, one and this one. The green line means that it's being referenced by the object. So you can quickly see uh, the way things are structured in your pro project as well. So how does it work? This, If you enter this trigger, it will call this box right here, which is uh, an event group. These groups different events together that will all be called once you activate this. So for example, first it will draw some text with some parameters, it will play a sound with some parameters, and you just copy the ID values, which is Control D, and you just paste them in here, copy the ID value of this event group, and paste it in here, and it will automatically be called for you. Now, for example, this button here, there's a few of objects here. These are set not to draw. This one is set to draw, and if you toggle the button on, it will call these two events here. The first one will start drawing these objects, and it will uh, not the other way around, sorry. This one will start to draw these objects and it will hide this object. And if you toggle the button off again, 
it will hide these and draw this one again. Now, for example, uh, for example, the button that you had to get a key first to open this door. This uh, key, it looks a bit not like a key, but it's what it's supposed to be. We'll call if you pick up this item, it's linked to an event group. This event group will be called and will do two things. It will one uh, set a bool to true, and this bool means do you have a key, yes or no. It sets it to true right away, forever as well. And it also draws some text that you picked up a key. Now if you press this button, it will do a bool check on this bool right here. And if it's true, do this right here. Which means, if it's not true, sorry. It says you don't have the key, do nothing. If it is true, do this right here and toggle the door to being open. So this door here will be set to being open. And that's how you can pretty easily add in uh, your own events and create gameplay, anything you want.